Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. We are still in the third module entitled One-to-One -one and Inverse Functions. Our third lesson is all about representing an inverse function through its table of values and graph. Steps in representing the inverse function through its table of values. First, obtain the inverse of the given one-to-one -one function. Second, create a table and choose a set of x values to be used. Third, substitute these values to the equation of the inverse to obtain the y values. Example number one, obtain and represent the inverse of the following one-to-one -one functions through its table of values using the domain D is equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we obtain and represent the inverse of the following one-to-one -one functions through the table of through its table of values using the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So let's try to uh, identify first the inverse. First step, we will write this using y. y is equal to 3x plus 4. Second step, we interchange the variables. y will be x and x will be y. Equal silang dalawa, we can swap their positions. We have 3y plus 4 is equal to x. Transposing the constant term to the right, from positive 4, it will, be, it will become negative 4. Dividing both sides by 3, we have y is equal to x minus 4 all over 3. Or f negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 4 all over 3. This is our inverse. So, next one, we represent it uh, in its table of values using the domain negative 2 negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, if if x is equal to negative 2, we have f negative 1 of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 minus 4 all over 3. This is negative 6 all over 3 or negative 2. So, we we'll write here negative 2. If x is equal to negative 1, we have uh, f of negative 1, f negative 1 of negative 1 is equal to negative 1, we, try, we substitute negative 1 here, negative 1 minus 4 all over 3, so that is negative 5 all over 3, this is negative 5 all over 3, then if x is equal to 0, then we have uh, substituting 0 to the x here in our inverse function, we have 0 minus 4 all over negative 3, or 0 minus 4 all over positive 3 is equivalent to negative 4 all over 3. So we write here negative 4 all over 3. If uh, x is equal to 1, we have f negative 1 of 1 is equal to Substituting 1 here, we have 1 minus 4 all over 3, that is negative 3 all over 3 or negative 1. And if x is equal to 2, we have f negative 1 of 2 is equal to 2 minus 4 all over 3, that will be negative 2 all over 3. So we write here negative 2 all over 3. So that's it. This is our table of values. So our answers are uh, the inverse, which is f of negative f negative one of x is equal to x minus four all over three, and of course our table of values for the given domain. Understood? Second example, we try to obtain and represent the inverse of this function using the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So we try first to obtain the inverse. So the first step, we replace this using y. We have y is equal to uh, 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Second step, we interchange the variables. y will be x and x will be y. 
third step, we uh, try to simplify. Okay, so we cross multiply. Since rational function at all, we have x times y minus 1 is equal to uh, 1 times 2y plus 1 is 2y plus 1. So uh, we distribute x to all the terms inside the parentheses. We have x times y is xy, x times negative 1 is negative x is equal to 2y plus 1. Lahat ng may y dapat nasa left. So we transpose positive 2y to the left, it will become negative 2y. Lahat ng mga walang y, ililipat sa right. So transposing negative x, it will become positive x. And then we bring down plus 1. May common sa kanila which is y. So ilalabas natin siya, may iwan sa loob ay x. At may iwan sa part na to ay si negative 2. So we have is equal to x plus 1. Divide both sides by x minus 2. Para ang may iwan sa kabila ay si y. We have... Uh, y is equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 2 or f negative 1 of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 2. So this is our inverse function. The second uh, part, we try to uh, represent this using table of values using the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So x and y. If x is negative 2, so we have here, if x is equal to negative 2, then we have negative 2 plus 1, so negative 2 plus 1 all over negative 2 minus 2, that will be negative 1 all over negative 4, or positive 1 4, so 1 all over 4 here. So if, if x is equal to negative 1, we have negative 1 plus 1 all over negative 1 minus 2. That will be uh, 0 all over negative 3 or 0. So we write here 0. If x is equal to 0, then we have 0 plus 1 all over 0 minus 2. That will be 1 all over negative 2 or negative 1 half. Lalagay natin dito negative 1 half. So if x is equal to 1, we have 1 plus 1 all over 1 minus 2, so that is 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, or that is negative 2. And if x is equal to 2, we have 2 plus 1 all over 2 minus 2, that is 3 all over 0, or that will be undefined. So we write here undefined. Okay, so this is our table of values. So our answer will be the inverse, which is this one, and then our table of values. Okay? How about representing the inverse function graphically? So the graph of the inverse function f negative 1 of x is a reflection of the graph of the function f of x across the line y is equal to x. So steps in representing the inverse function graphically First, obtain the inverse of the one-to-one -one function. Second, create table of values for the inverse function. Third, plot the coordinates from the table of values in the Cartesian plane and connect the dots. Example number two, represent the inverse of the following one-to-one -one functions graphically. For the solution, watch this video. So in this example, we represent the inverse of the given functions graphically. So we try to uh, identify first the inverse of the function. So this the first step, we replace this using y. y is equal to x plus 1. Second step, we interchange the variables. y will be x and x will be y. Since equal silang dalawa, we can swap their positions. So y plus 1 is equal to x. Transposing positive 1, it will give us uh, negative 1. So this is our inverse function for f. Okay, so next one, we try to represent this using table of values. So in this part, kahit apat lang or, uh, kahit apat lang or lima, Lang. So, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. These are our values for x. So, to find the values for y, we substitute each dito sa function na to. If x is negative 2, then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. If x is negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 
if x is 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. If x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. And if x is 2, uh, y will be 2 minus 1 is 1. So our coordinates are negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, and 2, 1. Yung next next step, we uh, plot these coordinates sa ating Cartesian plane. So we have negative 1, negative 2, and then 1 and 2. So this will be negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3, and positive 1. So this will be our y, this will be our x. So if x is negative 2, saan yung negative 2 sa part na to, y will be negative 3. So andito yung uh, negative 2, y will be negative 3, andito yung point natin. If x is negative 1, y will be negative 2, andito yung point natin. If x is 0, y will be negative 1. If x is 1, y will be 0 here. And then if x is 2, y will be 1. So andito yung point. Natin. Then we connect the the points. Then don't forget to write or draw an arrow here. Kasi uh, portion lang yung kinuhanan natin, yung din drawing natin. Kapag may uh, region, arrow dyan, ibig sabihin, it extends papunta doon and then papunta din dito. Understood? So in this example, we represent the inverse graphically of f of x is equal to x all over x plus 2. So we identify first the inverse, we will write f of x using y, we have y is equal to x all over x plus 2. The second step, we interchange the variables, y will be x, and x will be y. So understood number one, yan, we cross multiply since this is a rational function. So we have x times y plus 2 is equal to y. So distributing x to all the terms inside the parentheses, we have xy. x times y is xy and x times 2 is 2x is equal to y. So lahat ng may y, dapat nasa left, we have xy. Transposing positive y, it will become negative y. Then transposing 2x to the right, it will become negative 2 x may common sa kanilang dalawa which is y so ang may iwan ay cx and then negative 1 is equal to negative 2x divide both sides using x minus 1 so we have our inverse is f negative 1 of x is equal to negative 2x all over x minus 1 second step we generate table of values for this Okay, so this will be x and y so just like in obtaining or representing the, uh, uh, a given rational function through its table of values yung nasa gitna na value ay dapat yung value that makes the rational function undefined so ano yung value na nasa gitna so we consider the denominator this will become x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. Yung nasa gitna dapat ay 1 at yung mga nandito ay uh, bahala, bahala na tayo. A ano ba yung nasa left ni 1? We have 0 and then negative 1 and then we have 2 and 3. So if x is equal to negative 1 then we have negative 2 times negative 1 all over negative 1 minus 1 that is uh, this will become positive 2 and then negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 or negative 1. Next one, if x is equal to 0, then we have negative 2 times 0 all over 0 minus 1. That is 0 all over negative 1 or 0. We write here 0. If x is equal to 1, it will become undefined. So, ito yung magiging uh, vertical asymptote natin. If x is equal to 2, then we have a negative 2 times 2 all over 2 minus 1. That is negative 4 all over 1 or negative 4. And if x is 3, if x is equal to 3, then we have... Uh, negative 2 times 3 all over 3 minus 1 that will be negative 6 all over 2 or negative 3 
So we write here negative 3. So next step, we plot uh, these coordinates at the Cartesian plane. So right here, we have 1, 2, and 3. And then sa part na 2, we have negative 1. And then here, until negative 4. Sa part na to, until 0 lang. So if x is negative 1, y will be negative 1. If x is 0, y will be 0. And if uh, x is 1, y will be undefined. So we draw here an uh, imaginary line since this is our uh, vertical asymptote. If x is 2, y will be negative 4. And if x is 3, y will be negative 3. So our graph will be most likely for ganito. And then for Understood? For the supplemental activity 3.3, you read the instructions carefully in each activity. Then, give the best or the correct answer. Part 1, we write T if the statement is true, otherwise write F. Part 2, represent the inverse of the following functions using table of values by using the domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, and B, using the graphical method. Use graphing paper if available. Submission of all outputs will be on Friday.